everybody, it's Tessa from Meyer Hatchery. Today, I've built you an egg rainbow, and we're gonna go through these eggs, and I'm gonna show you what breeds I used of chicken to make this egg rainbow. This is a mix of standard and bantam-sized eggs. So let's start down at the bottom with our white eggs, because when you're dealing with white eggs, there's white and there's tinted. Tinted has a slight off-white, almost cream color to it, and you see that a lot in silky eggs, which is what this is right here. This is a silky egg. These right here, um, these are milfleur eggs. So all of these are bantam. And they have that creaminess to them that some of our larger eggs do not. So if we start here, this egg right here is from an Ancana. This one right here is an Andalusian. This one right here is a Polish, and I can always tell my Polish eggs because they're always a little bit more pointy than the other ones, I don't know why. And then down on the end here are our white leghorns. So look at the size difference here between the white leghorn and our Ancana. This is a large egg, this is an extra large egg. But there is a pretty good variety of white egg layers just depending on what size you're looking for. These are an almost everyday giant ones. These are every day, every other day, more large size. So let's bump up to this row right here, which are our tans. So in tans, there are some surprising ones. This is also a silky egg. So if I set it next to that other silky egg, you can see they're slightly different colors. It's just a different silky. And then right here, these little blobs, are um, bantam cochin eggs. And you'll see when we get up to this row too, because my bantam or my cochins, they always lay almost like a pill-shaped egg, which I think is funny. So those are theirs. Now these in here, we have um, a buff Orpington egg. So my buff Orpingtons lay these kind of almost a buff color. This is a lavender Orpington, this is a buff Orpington, this is a new layer, um, so her eggs are a little bit smaller, but these here are Orpingtons. This is a green queen egg. So when you order green queens, it does have the uh, possibility that you could get some that lay more of a, it's not mustard colored, but it's like a tan with a yellow undertone. This is a green queen egg. These are salmon favorels. Salmon favorels have uh, rosy undertones to the eggs, and that's what gives it that pink egg in your rainbow. And then down here at the end, this is from my New Hampshire Red. So she's a pretty good layer. She lays almost every day, and she lays this nice, just plain tan egg. Now, jumping into this layer. This is where we start to get some of those dark tones that everybody seeks out, but there are some unsung heroes here because this egg is a Barnevelder egg and it is beautiful. It has um, the tan color underneath, but then it has some dark speckling. And I think that one's really nice, especially in an egg carton if you're selling them. Uh, after our Barnevelders here is where we have the, um, well, these are Cochin eggs because I can tell because of the shape. So these ones are my Cochin. This one here is a brand new, um, this one's a brand new golden buff. This is an established golden buff. So I'm gonna roll these bad boys down here. So this is my new layer. This is my, she's getting pretty old. So these golden buff eggs come to me every single day. This is extra large for sure. Um, this is a pretty standard golden buff sized egg. This one right here is from my Gold Lace Wyandotte. And then these are from my Well Summers. So Well Summer eggs are usually really dark, but then they have um, pretty dark brown speckling on the egg, or freckles, if you will. And uh, I've got one that's broody, and hers is the most beautiful. Hers has big speckles or freckles on it. These ones have pretty small ones. I still do like them, but this is a large, a small, large, medium egg. Uh, this right here and this right here, these are both from Moran's. So one is a black copper and one is a blue copper. The black copper Moran's egg has more of a sheen to it, whereas the blue copper is more matte and it's a darker color. So if you're looking for that full egg rainbow, having both blue and black copper Moran's can finish that out to give you this dark chocolate that everybody's looking for. 
Our final row here is our colored egg layers. So uh, right up front, I'm sure you can see that these two are clearly bantam eggs. These are um, bantam Easter eggers. These ones are sweating a little, they were in the refrigerator. But I wanted to show you the difference in the color of some of these eggs. So this one, well, here, let's do it this way. This one right here is an Easter egg. Easter egg, egger. Easter egger, egg? Oh my goodness. This one here is an Easter egger, egg. <laughs> and the one right next to it is actually from um, my Americana. So they're very similar in color. They're very similar in size. I only know which one is which because um, they lay in different pens. So I know which one is which. And if you compare the color of the Easter egg to the others, they're all very similar. This one here though is from my cream leg bar. I found that her eggs are a lot more blue than the others. They're more true blue, though the uh, Americana also does lay that true blue, uh, beautiful coloring egg. And it's hard to see when they're here, but when you take that and drop it down here next to the white and the tan, you can see how beautiful it is. So next, we've got green queen eggs. So like I said before, this one is a green queen egg, um, but these are also green queen eggs. And if you look at those, they are two different colors. Uh, one has more blue undertones, one has more yellow undertones almost. But green queen eggs have almost a minty coloring to them or a teal color sometimes almost uh, because they are a mix but they won't be this color, which is our olive egger egg. These ones will be olive. So uh, if you have more a green queen and an olive egger in your bunch, you'll be able to tell the difference mostly because of that tone. And if you look here, like this green queen egg is a little bit bigger too, though a lot of our um, olive eggs are big as well. So when you're building your egg rainbow, we have everything you need to make the perfect spectrum. Check us out at MeyerHatchery.com. Look us up on YouTube and follow us to see all of our cool videos about how you can get this egg rainbow in your flock. Have a great day, everybody.